Hello everyone and welcome to this create a sim video. Um, this video is just kind of like a filler for Tuesdays until I start releasing um, the 7 super teen challenge um, videos. So what I'm going to do is, as you know, I play with nothing but custom content and all of my other saves. But I want to see if I can create a sim that I am happy with without using a single piece of custom content. So. So right now I am in a completely vanilla game. I have no mods, no CC, no nothing in this save at all. And um, so I'm gonna like go speed through and um, as I create her like face and stuff, but um, you know, do the shapes and stuff like that. But otherwise then we will um, kind of go a little slower with the whole, um, creation process. Um, so, hope you enjoy this. So I have the base of her um, created and I think I'm going to put her as a base sim on the gallery and y'all can um, um, fix her up yourself. Um, so let's see, I'm going to give her the feminine walk because I always do. Um, Alright, All right, so I'm going to give her a name, let's see, Bianca, Bianca works, Bianca Crump, no, Anderson, Velasco, Bianca Griggs, um, we are going to give her, kind of want to make everything base game, um, I don't really want to give her bodybuilding, um, what are base game traits? I mean, base game. All right, so we'll do, um, I always do best-selling author though. Um, painter extraordinaire, and we will give her the traits of art lover, um, creative, and um, let's go with, let's give her a bad trait though. Um, we'll give her squeamish. Okay. So I will save her and put her in as a base game sim. Okay. Um, so now let's go and do her hair. I didn't do her hair, I did give her eyebrows though. I'm not sure what color hair I want to give her quite yet. Um, so, I'm never happy with game hair because I don't like the texture of it. I was like, is that seriously all the hair that I have? It's like, no. Huh. I don't know. Not really grooving that one. I 
Um, let's see. And then after a certain period of time, I never played with game hair at all, so... Let's see. Let's see. This is hard. Um, I think we'll go with this one. It's one of them that I actually like from um, Snowy Escape. So... I also like this one. From um, Movie Hangout, is it? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Um, I would do these except for, you know, the rag is a certain color and you have to like then match everything to that. Um, I mean, some of these colors. I'll do this one. We can do a pink and yellow theme on her. That would be cute. Okay, Bianca. Pink and yellow is going to be your colors. Um, let me go to your eyebrows and have them match your hair. Alright, so let's do an everyday outfit and um, let's do our colors. Our yellow and pink okay um not that pink though not that pink um uh, let's see some of these pinks just aren't matching Okay, this might not be a good idea after all. Um, no, I hate trying to match colors because it never works. That yellow is pretty close. Um, let's see what we have in bottoms. Do we have anything in pink? That's the question. And if so, will it be the right color pink? Um, no. Why does everything have to be like so low off the hips in this game? Um, no. No. No, wrong color pink. I'm starting to regret that's not bad. That's cute. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Um, next question is, am I actually going to be happy with said sim that I've created? Um, I guess we will find out. Maybe I'll use her for one of the um, scenarios that I haven't done yet. Um, let's see, what kind of shoes can we do here? Um, the shoes is going to be the next big problem because and I love how nothing ever really matches the same color. Like everything's so different. And speaking of which, as I'm doing this, the only pack I do not have is my wedding stories because um, at the time I recorded this, they had just released the patch that supposedly fixed most of it, but I still have not bought it yet. So, all right, it's different colored pink, but it's cute just the same. Um, let's see, do we have them in a yellow? Um, I think I prefer the pink though. I think the pink was cuter. Yeah. Alright, so let's do fingernails. And, um, 
I may do the rest of this as a speed cast because of um, time restraints. I don't want this to be too long and stuff like that. So um, let's see. No, those just don't look like her. She looks like one that would have short nails. So. And the yellow is just not bad. Okay. Um, so I'll just show like talk through as I'm doing this everyday outfit and then um do speed cast through the rest and then come back at the end to show all of her looks. Okay, um I hate how Right now, I'm really missing my my um, organize, organization in um, creating some stuff like little things I have that show me um, where things are like right wrist, left wrist, stuff like that. Um, it's like I have to look at the picture now and what is that? Um, no, that's just not you. Um, I think she would be one that would wear a watch, like, all the time. So let's just do a pink watch and a yellow bracelet. And what kind of rings do we have? That's it. That's all we have for rings? Really? Wow, I thought we had more rings than that in game. Okay, um, so there's that. Um, let's come up here and do some accessories, I guess. Um, I think she might wear a nose ring. Um, on the, let's go left side. That's right side. I don't know my um, sides here apparently. Okay, and for earrings, um, I feel like she would just do something simple. Um, like, okay, she's not, she's not too bad for being a game sim, I guess. Um, let's go with. Um, Wow, eyeshadow. This is when I miss my um, CC makeup really badly. All right, let's go with that one. Let's see what we have for eyeliner. Oh, no. Um, no. All right, we'll go with that. And if you saw, I said on Twitter one time that I do use the um, MAC blush a lot. It looks really good on some Sims faces. And um, okay, she's not really too bad. She's really not. Um, let's see. Okay, Bianca Griggs is not too bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna do the rest of her looks and I will be back at the end. Okay, so um, the only thing I did, I did just go and change her eye color. I still had them as brown, but I changed them to this turquoise color, which is very, very pretty with this outfit anyway. Um, this was the everyday outfit that we did at the beginning, um, and then I went through, I gave her different hairstyles for almost every outfit, and stuff like that. Um, let's see, this is her formal, her athletic, which is very simple, sleepwear, party, this is probably one of my favorite in-game outfits, I used to use it all the time before I, you started using CC. Um, swimwear. 
hot weather, which I really, really love this outfit. This, this is one of my favorite looks of hers. And her cold weather. In doing this kind of, I guess, challenge that I gave myself, I came to realize that I kind of missed the days before I started using CC. Um, that um, it is possible to have nice looking sims and all of that without the CC. Um, I feel like playing the game was a whole lot more simpler back then. Um, there wasn't so much to go through and and everything and sometimes I kind of wish I would go back to it but at the same time I'm kind of attached to my CC so it's kind of like I can't let it go so I don't know what do you think um do you prefer watching let's plays and stuff with CC or without CC um so anyway let me know how you think I did as um, creating a sim with absolutely no custom content and um, if you liked any of her looks. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and like my content, please hit the subscribe button. Leave me some comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!